Hello everyone, Jonathan Schlack, EA Echim Weather here with a heavy weather update. We have an enhanced risk for heavy weather today that encompasses parts of southeastern Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. There is a slight risk today that encompasses north central Texas, most of Oklahoma, northwestern Arkansas, and southwestern Missouri. There is a marginal a marginal risk for severe severe weather today that encompasses South Central Nebraska, parts of Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, West Central and Northwestern Louisiana, parts of Arkansas, and parts of Missouri. Going to the tornado threat for today, we have a 10% chance of an isolated tornado today that encompasses Southeastern Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. There is a 5% chance of an isolated tornado today that encompasses much of Oklahoma, north central Texas, and northwestern Arkansas. And there is a 2% chance of an isolated tornado today that encompasses extreme south central Nebraska, central Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, parts of, parts of Louisiana, western Arkansas, and southwestern Missouri. Going to the wind threat for today, we have a 30% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher today that encompasses southeastern Oklahoma and northeastern Texas. There is a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher today that encompasses north central Texas, most of Oklahoma, southwestern Missouri, and northwestern Arkansas. And there is a 5% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher today that encompasses south central Nebraska, parts of Kansas, southern or south central and southwestern Missouri, parts of Arkansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, and parts of Louisiana. Going to the hail threat for today, we have a 15% chance of hail of one inch in diameter or larger today that encompasses parts of central and south central Oklahoma and north central Texas. Now, if you look at the black dashed area, the black dashed area encompasses parts of south central Oklahoma and north central Texas. The black dashed area for today is where we have a 10% chance of seeing hail of two inches in diameter or larger today. So, that's where the black dashed area is. And again, the black dashed area means there's a 10% chance of two inch in diameter, uh, diameter hail or larger for today. And there is a 5% chance of hail of one inch in diameter or larger today that encompasses South Central Nebraska, Central Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, and parts of Texas. So, going to the summary for today, multiple rounds of strong to severe thunderstorms are possible today through tonight over parts of the Southern Plains. Tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail are possible. So that's today's outlook. Going to the day two outlook now. We have an enhanced risk for severe weather tomorrow that encompasses eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, western Arkansas, and southwestern Missouri. Again, the enhanced risk for tomorrow encompasses eastern Oklahoma, eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, Western Arkansas and southwestern Missouri. There is a slight risk tomorrow that encompasses southeastern Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, extreme northwestern Louisiana, parts of Arkansas, and parts of Missouri. There is a marginal risk tomorrow that covers parts of Texas, northwestern Arkansas, cent or excuse me, northwestern Louisiana, central Arkansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Kansas much of Missouri, southeastern Iowa, and parts of Illinois for tomorrow. Going to a tornado threat for tomorrow, there is a 10% chance of an isolated tornado tomorrow that encompasses eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, extreme northwestern Arkansas, and the very far extreme southwestern tip of Missouri. Now, there is a black dashed area tomorrow that almost completely covers the 10% risk for a tornado tomorrow. The black dashed area is where we have 
the best potential to see tornadoes that are EF2 or stronger. So again, the Black Death Theory for tomorrow is where we have the best possibility or best probability or highest probability. It's not really the best thing, but the Black Death Theory is where we have the, the highest chance of seeing tornadoes of an EF2 rating or larger or stronger. And there is a 5% chance of an isolated tornado tomorrow that encompasses southeastern Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, parts of western Arkansas, and parts of Missouri. And tomorrow there is also a 2% chance of an isolated tornado tomorrow <clears throat> that encompasses parts of Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, extreme northwestern Louisiana, central Arkansas, parts of Missouri, and far, or not far, um, West Central Illinois. Going to the wind threat for tomorrow, we have a 30% chance, a 30% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher tomorrow. That encompasses eastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, western Arkansas, and southwestern Missouri. There is a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher tomorrow. That encompasses southeastern Kansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Texas, extreme northwestern Louisiana, parts of Arkansas, and parts of Missouri. And tomorrow there is also a 5% chance of damaging wind gusts of 50 miles per hour higher tomorrow. That encompasses parts of Texas, parts of Louisiana, central Arkansas, parts of Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, much of Missouri, southeastern Iowa, and parts of Illinois. And going to the hail threat for tomorrow, there is a 15% chance of hail, a 15% chance of hail of one inch in diameter or larger tomorrow that encompasses central and south central Oklahoma and north central Texas. There is a 5% chance of hail of one inch in diameter or larger tomorrow that encompasses southeastern Kansas, southwestern Missouri, far western Arkansas, much of Oklahoma, and parts of Texas. So, going to the summary for tomorrow, scattered severe thunderstorms associated with tornadoes, large hail, and wind damage are likely on Monday and Monday night. From the southern plains north-northeastward into the Ozarks and mid-Mississippi Valley, a few of the tornadoes could be strong. So, that's all I got for today. So, you're going to really want to monitor the weather conditions today and tomorrow, so... Stay safe in the affected areas both today and tomorrow, and I will have another update tomorrow. Take care.